Hello everyone, this is Akash here from blenderskill.cf and this video, I'm going to be showing you the new features of Enrich Add-on version 2.0. I've been receiving a lot of questions whether the Enrich Add-on is going to be supported for Blender version 2.8 or not. And yes, this new update which I'm working on is going to exclusively work on Blender version 2.8 and above. Uh, so this video will show you some of the features that I've currently implemented in this new update and I'm also going to be talking about some of the features which possibly I'm going to be implementing in the upcoming weeks. Uh, so let's get started. I have a render over here to demonstrate these new features which I have uh, added in the Enrich add-on. So I have activated the Enrich add-on and the new Enrich panel can be found in the image editor of Blender, not in the UV editor because these two are now separated. So you can find it in the image editor and you can conveniently access it in the rendering workspace. So to access the Enrich panel, just press the N key and this will open up the properties of the image editor and you'll find the Enrich tab and this is the new Enrich panel. If you have worked with the previous Enrich add-on, you'll see that the new Enrich panel is completely different from what it was in the previous version. Uh, this is because of the new effect system which this update includes and I'm really excited to show you uh, this effect system. So let's get started. To add a new effect, you can click on the plus button and this is the effects list. Effects are basically layers which you were probably familiar with in other photo editing softwares and with the help of Enrich, you can actually uh, use the same workflow directly inside Blender to edit your renders and images visually. So you can add different effects. Uh, for this one, we're going to start by adding vibrance and saturation and each effect controls one of the parameters of your render. This effect settings allows you to change the settings of the effect. So in this case, we can control the vibrance and the saturation. Let's uh, add in some vibrance and that looks really nice. You can also hide an effect. You can just change the opacity if you want. And you can also change the blend mode of the effect. So we can try out screen, we can try out soft light. Uh, yeah, these effect, these blend modes look really bad, but you get the idea. Let's keep it at mix. And there's also the preset effect. If you have used the previous version of Enrich, the presets were the ma major highlight of the whole Enrich add-on. And now with the new effect system, the whole preset system also gets an overhaul. You can now combine multiple presets and get the desired effect really easily. So let's change this preset to be, let's try Tranquil. And yeah, this one actually looks really nice. We can also click on this button to access any random preset. Let's try out, let's, let, let's see some other presets, which one looks good with this. Let's try out this Vintage 3. And yeah, some of the presets actually have the exclusive set of controls over here. So this preset, which is Vintage 3, has an option to change warmth, the color balance, opacity, and the gamma. So you can actually control some of the parameters of each preset you're using in the uh, in the scene. So let's keep it at default and um, let's actually try some other preset. Let's let's keep it at tranquil itself. Yeah, that looks really nice. And the whole categories and the search feature and then the favoriting system, all of those have been completely ported from the previous version of Enrich to this new version. And let's try out some other effects as well. Let's let's add in mist. So this is the mist effect. It allows you to add in a mist on top of your render. It uses something called the depth map and this color ramp allows you to control it. Let's toggle the mask to first uh, set up the depth mask. So yeah, this looks nice. And we can change the color of the mist. Let's keep it at white. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let's actually bring this a little bit over here. So yeah, the mist looks really good. We can also add a vignette now. So this is the vignette effect. And let's control the mask first. So let's increase the blur amount. Around 30 should be fine. Let's, let's keep it at 40. And uh, we can also decrease the opacity of the vignette. So yeah, let's keep it. Uh, around 70 maybe 75 that looks really nice and also one of the new features which I've added in Enrich is masks 
you can exclusively contain certain effects for different parts of your render. The new version of Blender includes something called CryptoMat. And if you haven't used CryptoMat yet, uh, I really suggest you to try it out. It's a really nice feature. And currently it works only with cycles. Uh, that's why the Enrich add-on mask settings also works only with cycles because it relies on the CryptoMat. So let's actually try out the mask settings of Enrich. So you start by selecting an effect and you enable the mask settings of that effect. And then uh, you can choose the mask type. So CryptoMat actually has object, material and asset. And if I show you my CryptoMat settings, I have all of them enabled. So let's actually stick with object for this, uh, this scene. And you can toggle the picker. This will show you a map like this, which allows you to actually pick the objects that you want to include in the mask. So let's include this one. And since it's a particle group, it's going to select all the ones which have same color. And let's again toggle the picker. And now this effect will be applied only to those objects you selected uh, using the picker, uh, which uses CryptoMat basically. And if I hide this effect, you can see only the, F the red balls have changed because this effect was applied only to them. But if I remove the mask, you can see it gets applied to the entire scene. So yeah, that's really nice. Let's actually keep the mask as it was. And yeah, this mask setting actually makes Enrich even more powerful. And the next feature which I'm going to be showing you uh, is the scene settings. And the scene settings allow you to control the, yeah, the parameters of the scene basically. So you can change the type of the image you're editing with Enrich. By default, you, uh, you are editing the render, but you can also edit external images if you want. And this view actually allows you to change the color management of your scene. Uh, let's keep it at filmic. That looks really nice. You can change the look. So we can change it to medium, low contrast or high contrast. That looks really nice. You can change the exposure and the gamma as well. And I think that's, that's fine as it was. And uh, yeah, that's the scene settings. And we can also try out some other effects. So let's try out tint. You can add a tint as well. And uh, let's actually set the foreground and the background color first. So we'll use uh, the red color as a foreground and then the possibly blue as the background for this example. And um, let's keep it at orange actually, yellowish orange. Um, then change the blend to be soft light. And yeah, the tint get, gets applied throughout the scene. You can also change the opacity of the tint if you want. And yeah, that looks really good. So this is how actually you can see how you can stack different effects together to get the look you want. You can also add in one more preset if you want, uh, which would add in another effect to the list. So we can combine different presets. Let's try out Creek. And uh, yeah, that actually looks really good. And one more cool feature we have added is image overlay. So image overlay was actually suggested in one of the videos of this update. And this uh, effect allows you to add an overlay of some image such as noise or grunge uh, directly through Blender itself. You don't have to use any other software to do this. So you select an image, you can also tile it, change the scale and the rotation and stuff. and you get the image overlaid on top of your render, which is really cool. So yeah, I don't have any image to overlay right now, so I'm going to keep it. And uh, yeah, since now the new effect system doesn't generate the node tree at the start, the new Enrich add-on is actually much more powerful than the previous versions in terms of performance as well. Uh, and if you go to the compositing workspace, you'll see how neatly the Enrich add-on has created the entire node tree for you. If you are going to share this file with someone else who doesn't have Enrich add-on, uh, the node tree is still going to be there and the whole structure of the node tree is going to be easier for someone to actually analyze and go through. So yeah, that's actually really nice. And um, you can also reset Enrich and resetting Enrich is actually going to delete only the nodes which Enrich has created. Whereas if you have used the previous version of Enrich, it just deletes all the nodes in the compositor and that's not really good. So yeah. That's also really cool. And um, yeah, these were the, some of the major features that have been added. You can actually 
uh, move the effects up and down and stuff that's also really nice so yeah this was the update uh, th this was the work which i have done till now in the version 2.0 of enrich and some of the features that are yet to be implemented includes custom presets uh, which was then the previous version that allowed you to save any node group as a preset inside enrich and one more feature which is yet to be implemented is the uh, backwards compatibility of enrich 2.0 uh, with the enrich version 1 files since the new effect system is completely built from scratch there's a high chance it won't work with the previous scenes uh, so yeah we'll have to implement a version upgrade system which will allow you to convert version 1 files to version 2 as well which should be integrated in the add-on possibly and uh, one more feature which is to be implemented is the categorization of presets uh, the categorization actually works but uh, the custom categories which the user is supposed to be creating that actually hasn't been implemented yet so these were the development updates of the enrich add on version 2.0 if you have any suggestions or improvements you can share it with me in the comments below and i'll be happy to read it and apart from that thanks for watching and i uh, hope you are really excited for enrich version 2.0 thanks for watching